You know, the world of English is a fun and exciting place to be. I'm so glad you could join me for another lesson. Hi everybody, this is Mr. Duncan in England. How are you today? Are you okay? I hope so. Are you happy? I hope so. In my last lesson, I talked about saying please and thank you. Today, we will look at the different ways of replying to these sentences. Making your response. When a person asks you a question, you will normally give a reply. A sentence with the word please in it normally needs a response. The reply can be either yes, no, or maybe. They could also be much longer sentences, including a reason for the reply or an added condition. Please, can I watch some TV? Yes, but only for an hour. No, you cannot. You have to do your homework. Maybe after dinner you can. Can I please go out to play with my friends? Yes, you can, but be home before it gets dark. No, you cannot. It's too late. Maybe after you have done your chores. Please, may I leave the room? You may. No, sorry, you may not. Maybe after you have finished eating your food. Could I please have some ice cream? Yes, you can, but not too much. No, you can't. You've had some already today. Maybe later, if you are good. Of course, you can just reply with a simple yes, no, maybe. But if you do say no, then the other person will probably ask, why not? Saying no to someone can be a very difficult thing to do. There are many different ways of responding to a request, which we will be taking a closer look at in a later lesson. Replying to thank you. After you have said thank you, the other person may offer a response. Thank you very much for the meal. It's my pleasure. Thanks a lot for letting me stay with you. You are very welcome. Thank you for the special award. You deserve it. That was a great meal. Cheers. It's quite all right. I appreciate your kindness. Thank you so much. The pleasure is all mine. Oh, thank you for the lovely birthday present. It must have been expensive. Oh, you shouldn't have. That's okay. You are worth it. <laughs> Saying please and thank you are very simple actions and by using them you are showing that you are a polite person who is willing to show respect to other people, which is quite a nice thing really. Well, another lesson has flown by. Please come back again real soon for another one. 
before I finish today, I would like to say a special hello to one of my online English students, Diego, and also a big hello to his family watching in Canicati, which is in Sicily. That is definitely it from me. Until next time, this is Mr. Duncan in England saying thank you for watching me, teaching you, and of course, ta-ta for now.